coaches. <laughs> you know who I mean. Irene Christ, <laughs> Carrie Mason Reese, Christina Welford Scott, and even young Kim Justice. They seem to have a natural instinct for this role. <laughs> so I say if Michelle Bachman had sat through this season of theater in Memphis, she'd be a big fan of gay marriage. <laughs>
about the under the table money that I've been getting for years from Andre Bruce Ward and Bill Short. <laughs> and if the judges had messed things up this year, I think I could have worked a similar deal with Michael Gravois. <laughs> years that I've been with the Ostranders, I've seen theater in this city grow to new heights of excellence, seen state-of-the-art buildings go up, seen this Ostrander evening grow from a few hundred people to the crowd we have tonight. A few of you have seasoned during those 25 years, gained weight, lost hair, <laughs> <laughs> then you were praying Prince Hal, now your role is false staff. No matter. I think that these awards have accomplished over those years what they were invented to do. They have called the public's attention to excellence in theater. They have acknowledged some very special performances and technical aspects of theater. And on occasion, they've created controversy, made you angry, caused a virtual storm on the call board inspired you to call poor, sweet, innocent, non-voting me <laughs> with your outrage. But if you think about it, that's what theater is supposed to do, to stir emotion, to inspire questions, to awaken us from our usual state of torpor. I've always said there's a reason why these annual awards are sandwiched between Dead Elvis Week and the Iowa Straw Toll. <laughs> They invite us to see what happens when we take ourselves too seriously. So thank you for letting me be part of this family for 25 years. And I hope to be hanging out on the sidelines for quite a few years more. Getting to know you and seeing what you've done on these stages in Memphis has been one of the great joys of my life. And my final thank you of this evening goes to those amazing folks called Ostrander Judges whom I've tried to corral now for years, and whom I've grown to love. They devote countless hours to seeing and analyzing theater, and most amazing of all, they never leave before a production is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, almost never. I actually saw with my own eyes this year a judge leaving a show during Act One. As she moved down the aisle toward the door, she caught sight of an elderly man in row seven wearing an orange sweater and a monocle, and she th saw through my disguise <laughs> and started a cough that didn't stop for 17 rows. I was not fooled. You have to be throwing up to get a bye as an ice cream <laughs> The community judges have seen 36 plays this year and will be adding more next year with the addition of New Moon Theater. They ask that their decisions be accepted as their best effort at consensus, offered out of respect and love for theater. So thank you, you 16 wonderful, wonderful judges. And scores of other judges years, it has been the greatest job in the world. First, I'd like to acknowledge those special judges who wrote tonight's brilliant one-line citations. John York, Louise Levin, Kel Christie, Mike Luthor, Rachel King Barr, Sam Weekly, and Leanne Evans. And then as I introduce the judges, please hold your applause to all of them are standing. David Allen, Rachel King Barr, Kel Christie, Leanne Evans, Tracy Ford, Martha Graber, Josie Helming, Greg Krosnos, Louise Levin, Mike Lukefer, Billy Pullen, <coughs> Lindsay Roberts, Agnes Stark, Marler Stone, Sam Weekly, John York. 